Hey guys, it's Robert Legion Studio and this is episode six of the Battle of the Bulge Table Build. Really excited about this episode because um, today we're gonna get snow on the board. Um, this will be one of the final episodes and I really, at the end of this, you're really gonna see how the table looks um, towards its uh, completed um, goal. Um, but what, you know, there will be additions on here where I'm gonna add some, uh, some fences, some additional terrain and I'll do those in sections and then maybe show uh, a game being played on it here in a week or so. But um, we're going to get rolling on this and um, I think we have a lot of exciting things that you're really going to enjoy seeing on this table um, for getting snow and mounting the trees on a hill. A lot of uh, things that I think um, you may find you haven't seen before. So um, hopefully you enjoy this and uh, let's get started. Hey, what we're going to do um, is I have these trees and I, what I've done is I've cut the end off and uh, a lot of these have a, are made from wire so it does take some pretty hefty clippers. Um, these barely made it through. I'm going to use some, uh, some bolt cutters actually for the next ones. But my, what my idea is here is um, I've, I took a drill and I drilled in um, and again it's all going to depend on um, the diameter of the tree trunk and what I want to do um, I drilled into the board and I took some tubing some styrene tubing um, you could use brass you could any type of tubing that you have you know frankly even a straw might even work if it's small enough anything that's going to work for the diameter of the tree trunk um, and I plugged the hole with a smaller tube so what I did um, took some plastruck um, plastic weld um, put it around here and just twisted this in it's a tight fit let that dry cut it here and cut it here and that's then allowed me and then I primed it black just so it'd be easier to paint and the idea is um, you know we're gonna put these down in trim them and then it's gonna allow the tree to set in here this way okay so what we're gonna do is I strategically drilled um, drilled some holes in here. Now we're going to put this in with uh, wood glue. I'm going to use the tight bond. Um, the tight bond will hold in there and it will not come out. And then again, the plug will, um, will keep this, um, you know, from going too deep in. And that'll, that'll help. So when, well, the idea is <clears throat> when you're playing, you can simply, you know, remove the tree to get your trucks or tanks or whatever else you're going to be going down the hill with. And without doing this, there's really no way to put um, put trees on a uh, you know on a hillside like this so it's kind of nice because if you wanted to actually leave this as open terrain um, it's it's kind of nice for gameplay because actually this is a nice cover area um, or you could put trees here that I'm going to build on the stands you know like so behind it and even make more wooded area so it gives a lot of flexibility with the table or you could play without these being there and you would just have the the holes there but they will be hardly noticeable so I'm going to continue on and get all of these uh, put down and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so here are the, um, the tubes that are, are glued in. Uh, I used to use wood glue and um, I'm going to go back and paint these black. Now I trimmed them um, just with a pair of sprue nippers. Um, they cut very easy. It's just styrene. And, uh, and then I'm just going to sand those down a little bit and make them smooth. But um, that's pretty much... Uh, you know what we're going to do across the whole board on the hills and as you can see um, you know the trees just uh, drop down in very nicely and uh, and then they lift out for um, you know if you need to get vehicles or um, anything else you know in that area it works real well okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to airbrush um, these woodland scenic trees that I have for the modular terrain um, the first color I'm going to use this is uh, 71012 dark green from model air Vallejo um, and honestly you can use pretty much any colors you want that you feel are going to match trees I, I wanted these trees to have sort of like a German field gray sort of color um, with just a little bit of brown so there's three colors that I'm going to be using on this um, that uh, that I think will work so we're just going to spray this green on each of the trees and uh, I'll be back soon. You know, I want to note as well that you don't have to use an airbrush on this. I just prefer to because of all the branches and just um, I have so many trees to do. It just makes a, a lot more uh, the process a lot faster. The next color I'm going to use is um, called hemp, actually camo beige hemp, um, number 23 from Vallejo Model Air um, and it's a little bit of a light brown I, I don't want to cover too much of the green to just kind of give it a little bit of a brownish shade
Okay, so the next color is, and the final actual paint color is a U.S. gray light. It's uh, Vallejo um, number 45, Model Air. Um, this is just going to be a light gray highlight tone on top of the other two colors to kind of blend them together. And um, don't worry about it being too bright because the next we're going to actually airbrush a wash on to uh, kind of bring everything down together. Okay, so the next um, the next paint we're going to use is actually a wash. It's by Secret Weapons, and these there's some of these colors in this line that are really great. This one's called Concrete, and uh, the nice thing about washes, a lot of people don't realize, you can actually spray them through an airbrush and uh, get some nice effect, especially with an item like this that has a lot of branches. This would be very difficult to be consistent with the brush, and it would take a long time. So um, it's just you can be a little uh, liberal with this and just uh, get the coverage to how you like the tonage and uh, just spray the wash on and let it dry. There's a lot of other washes you could use. You could use a um, you know, a, a non oil or you could use an earth grit or shade. Um, really, the tonage of the color you want to use is up to you. Um, you know, but I think a wash really helps this, as you can see. Okay, so we're ready to start getting some, uh, some snow on the table. Um, I am going with Woodland Scenics um, Soft Snowflake. It's number SN140. Um, I, a lot of people say you can use baking soda. Um, I've had bad experiences with that. First off, it'll yellow. Um, it also, over a period of time, will, I mean, it's, it's very acidic, so it can react to your plastics, some other things. So I really don't recommend, recommend using um, baking soda. Um, so, I mean, this stuff is fairly economical, and you can make it go a long way. And we're only gonna do about 60% of the table with snow here. So um, I have about three of these I'm probably gonna need for the table, but um, it's worth doing the right way. You don't want your, you don't wanna spend all the time on a table like this and then have it yellow and you don't want, um, you know, you don't want to run into problems down the road. So um, the items we're going to use here is uh, just generic water, the snow, and white glue. Don't use wood glue, wood glue will yellow. So we want to just stay with a, a um, regular Elmer's PVA. Um, it, it dries clear. So this will, um, this will be it, and just use some old chip brushes. Now, I'm not using a real big brush on this because I don't, I want to stay controlled on where I'm, I'm putting this on. And the whole idea with this first is, is we're going to mix it a little thick, and we're going to push some of this down in um, to the weeds. Uh, we're also going to cover these modular trees. Probably even going to need a smaller brushes than this on some of this, uh, especially when I'm pushing down into some of the, uh, you know the the scenics here. I want to I want to get to have the the scenics coming up through the snow. So uh, we're going to get going. I'm going to mix this up. And when you mix this up, what you want to do is just try to find the consistency that's work for what you're doing. Um, I'm going to go a little thicker at first, um, so it's not going to have as much water. Um, you just want enough water in there that you can work with a brush. And uh, and then from there it's going to get thinner. And then um, at the end, what we're going to do is just kind of sprinkle. Um, just some loose around on the table and let it kind of fade out. Um, so we're going to get rolling and uh, I'll see when we get some snow on here. I'm going to do a small section. I am going to show you how to, um, to mix some of this up though. So we're going to put some water in here first, um, just a little bit, and then I'm going to pour in some of this uh, w the glue. And again, this is, there's no exact measurements. You're just kind of, um, you know, working to, uh, working by feel. So we're just going to mix this up. And as I said, um, we want this to be a little thicker. Um, we don't want it to be, um, you know, real watery yet. Um, because I wanted to, I wanted to be able to to go down in and to hold play and hold in place. Um, we'll do some thinner areas a little bit later, but I just wanted to show you this is um, pretty much 
like melted ice cream, I would say. Uh, you know, just a consistency about what you can, I don't know if you can see here, but you can see about where we're at. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some down on the table and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just kind of stipling it. Um, you don't wanna brush it on. You don't wanna, um, you know, you wanna be a little controlled. So just kind of mash it down around onto the scenics. And we may need to um, do some additional coatings of this. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue on and uh, just keep stifling this around in certain areas and uh, we'll check back in when I get a nice area covered. I'll show you what we have. Okay, so this is dry now. And um, what I've done is I, vac I vacuumed up a lot of the loose snow and now we're going to go to the phase two of uh, the snow application and um, i want to brighten up some of the areas the first coat sometimes um, is still a little thin or it's absorbed in with some of the, the the earth scenic so it has a little bit of a yellowish tint don't get worried about that because the next phase we're not mixing snow into the white glue what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of white glue um, i'm going to do small sections so i can control what i'm doing but uh, we're going to put some glue and I'm going to thin this with, uh, with water and mix this up. And we're just going to um, apply this the same way we did our scenics. We're not going to mix the snow in. We're just going to go over some of the areas where we want a little more snow coverage and just kind of staple. Um, and you know what? I don't mind if some of the areas still stay a little bit of a darker tone with the snow. Um, it creates some shadows. It, uh, you know, the, if you look at a, especially an area where it's covered like this, there's a lot of variations of gray, of, uh, of whites. So um, this is going to really brighten it up when we put the second coat on. And, uh, and this is going to allow us to, to make some of those edges that created, that were created um, in the first stage, not so hard edge, to kind of blend them in. So I'm going to continue to uh, put some glue down here and, uh, and then the next step we're going to sprinkle some snow on. This section over here was already done. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to put a little bit in this area here. This is this section. I'm staying with sections so I don't cross over and I don't want the brush to hit uh, snow that I've already applied down. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sift this over top. and just cover the areas where you can see that there's wet glue. And it's, it kind of creates a natural fresh snowfall look um, because this is gonna be um, a lot lighter um, now on the, second, on the second phase, on the second application. And I even coated some over top of some of the scenics that I, uh, that I put on um, just so it kind of catches a little bit. And what snow is still um, doesn't catch glue um, will easily vacuum right back up again. Um, I do understand there's probably a lot of, um, there are ways that I could save a little bit of this. Um, but uh, you know, you're gonna plan on a table like this to probably, I'm gonna end up using three of these, so. But this is a four by eight table, so. So I'm going to continue on and get the rest of the table done and, uh, and then we'll come back, vacuum this up and see. And we may need to do just some spot touches in some other areas um, at the final, final stage. I anticipate putting three coats of the snow on um, uh, in different areas. So I'll be right back. Okay, so remember those trees we airbrushed. Um, we are going to now add some snow to this using the same process we did on the table. So um, the first step is, um, you know, we have our, our glue mix with the uh, snow on it and we're sort of pasting this on. Um, this will be a two-step process. I'm going to add some more snow on top of this once, it, um, once it's applied here. And then we're just going to 
gently sprinkle some snow over the uh, over the trees. Okay, so here is the table after being vacuumed up, three coats of snow, and I have the trees um, mounted in. Um, as you can see, um, we have some of the modular trees um, with some snow on them, um, and also put a little bit of white glue on top of the limbs and sort of dusted to get the, uh, the feel of a freshly snowfall, fresh snowfall. Um, I'm gonna do some future things on here um, that I wanna do, and I will show that in some videos. Um, we are going to put a few more um, holes in. I have some more trees on order. Um, I didn't realize how many this was gonna take. But as you can see, these are modular and um, these drop right down into these holes. And as I showed previously in the video, you know, just simply drilling into the foam and uh, dropping in the styrene tube with a plug on the bottom. And, uh, and it gives a nice way to, uh, you know, to make these um, modular trees. But I'd like to get some more coverage on, um, on some of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe put some anywhere where there's a hill. There'll be maybe two or three here, uh, one more here, one more here, one more here. Um, a couple other things on some future videos, what I'd like to do is show, um, maybe even use one of these holes and create plugs with some uh, bushes, some lower coverage items um, and things like that. Um, so I'm going to uh, grab the camera and show some of the, uh, the areas over here and, uh, and zoom in on them and give you an idea of how the table looks so far. We're not finished yet, but I was really excited to show you where we are um, at this point. And there'll be one more episode where I will finish putting the, um, the frame around this, um, which is going to be painted black and we'll come up level with right about here, um, just some one by uh, pine. And, um, and I have a few more scenic elements that I want to do. And I'm thinking I might put another, um, you know, wet coat on the roads um, to make them a little more muddy looking. Um, so don't go, you know, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to have, um, again, another video on here and there's still more to do on this table, but um, here it is. Let me uh, get the camera and uh, show you some, some scenes in here. And here are a few um, of the terrain pieces that I'm initially going to paint up. Um, I have some foxholes um, that came from Warlord. Um, we've got a couple fences from Warlord that'll be snow covered. Um, there's a building that I'm working on, a ruined building. Um, this is a supply warehouse set from Warlord that I bought to put snow on. Um, I figure with the bulge. Uh, being a lot of supply issues and then there'll be a few of these there'll be some um, of the warlord buildings uh, that's a warlord fence warlord games fence and a few of the warlord um, warlord buildings um, covered in snow uh, i need to get this painted up and i'll be showing those in a future videos so uh, again please subscribe and uh, again i hope you really enjoy this and it's been a pleasure to work on this table and i can't wait to get it uh, finished up and uh, we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching